Not morning, it's 12.20. <laughs> I've been sleeping in because class got canceled, so we got a sweet potato in here. And I'm about to make me some eggs, and I'm about to do green tea. Here's my supplement, little food closet thingy. Sample packs in here, and all this great stuff, some, all my shakers and different stuff that I have in here. But I'm getting some of this. Green tea, constant comments, so it's not just like plain green tea. Oh, and these are great. Belveda crackers, and these are amazing as well. Soft-baked Belveda cookies. They're amazing. Uh, but anyway, so it's not just like plain green tea. It is, uh, it's got like orange rind and, and spices in there. So it's pretty cool. So here's my six-pack. Bottle that uh, bottom actually comes off, so it's really, really easy to clean. Check them on potato. Hopefully, it might be done soon. I love sweet potatoes; they're really good for you, and I think they taste amazing. That works for me. So let me get this. Yeah, but class got canceled because it snowed, guys. Um, I've heard some people say that green tea can help increase your appetite. I kind of thought it was the opposite. Uh, comment below if you know. But I don't know. I've been eating a little bit better, actually, I think. And if it's placebo, I really don't care. But here's the outside, guys. Got a little bit of snow. There's my car out there. 2013 Mustang. <laughs> but it's snowing. Been snowing. Kind of, kind of thing. It's, it's not right now, but waiting on this potato and my eggs. I'm gonna cook some eggs, and then that's gonna be my breakfast. Well, my lunch. I woke up and munched on some crave cereal in my bed, so that was my breakfast. But that's about all. All right, guys. So here's the finished product. Three eggs. Uh, no salt, no pepper, no nothing. Just with cheese in it, and. Just a little bit of whole milk, and I cooked it in coconut oil. A high calorie, high in omega-3. It's supposed to be good for you, but it's high in fats. Um, but there's my eggs, and then I only took about a little less than half of a sweet, that big sweet potato. And that's what I'm eating right now. I'll put the rest in the fridge with some brown sugar and butter, of course. And then my green teas brewing right there. And you see all my books out, getting ready to do a bunch of homework. Because I have extra time today to get it done, so I don't have to stay up as late tonight. And that's about it guys. Hopefully I might be able to get a video in the gym today. I may even max early today, so we're gonna see what happens. back in the car done with my workout and oh my gosh I wanted more than that I really wanted that 250 and I really wanted to go higher but I you know you always said you goes a little bit higher uh, got the 245 I need to look at the videos I haven't looked at them yet but I have a feeling that my uh, that my ass came off the bench but I know it did on 250 my opinion on that guys is no, it's not proper form completely, but when you're maxing, I think it's acceptable. 
it's a little bit and I think it's preferred that it doesn't but if it does I think it would still be considered your max um, so I consider 245 my max now in my head I know I can get that 250 if you guys saw that videos guys I have not seen it yet I think I might have air humped a little bit quite a bit but I didn't breathe is what they said afterwards I said I did not breathe and it was right on that edge guys I'm talking 0 0.1 0 0.2 pounds from going up it was that close that is the closest max that is closer than when I got 200 which was the slowest max I've ever seen in my life that thing just sat there forever it seemed like and it was it was right at the halfway mark which to me I've never been at the halfway mark and then not gotten it so that was really interesting uh, to me, I thought I had that 250. As soon as I got it up, I was like, hell yes, we got it. And then it just sat there and I was giving it everything, guys. Another comment I have, I turned my shoulders out. I did not keep them tucked. I did not keep my elbows tucked. Don't do that. That can screw your shoulders up. My left shoulder hurts right now quite a bit. It's not bad, bad, but after I maxed, it hurt pretty good. And I noticed it the rest of my workout, which all I did after that was one more set of bench, just 135. I did like, I don't know, 10 reps or something. Uh, just to pump pump a few more reps out then I did cable crossovers four sets of those and then I did uh, Dips two sets of dips with 45 pound and then I did uh, Kickbacks on the cable tricep kickbacks cables and then I did tricep push uh, press downs with a straight bar um, On the cable machine, so that was my workout uh, But so it was a chest and tricep I didn't go as hard as I did last time because I didn't want to overtrain because guys, I can feel it now. I can feel this heavy weight's taking a toll on my um, on my bones, on my nervous system. I can feel it. So when I got that weight up there, it hurt. It kind of hurt my uh, my forearms a little bit and it hurt afterwards the entire workout, my forearms. So next week might be my final week to max. So I'm hoping to get 250. I, I, I know I can. I'm that close to it, guys. One more ounce of strength gained and that 250 is going up. No problem. Well, it'll be slow, but it'll go. So maybe I can squeeze 255 out of it next week. And man, that would be sweet. But technically I really didn't make much of a gain because I'm back up to 135 pounds. So I'm still at 110 pounds above my weight, I believe. I don't know, I'm not trying to calculate stuff. I don't want to think right now. But uh, that's about it for my max video, guys. I'm going home, I'm gonna go eat. I may show you what I'm eating, my shake or whatever. And then I got work at 4.30 to eight and then I got homework to do again. So, sorry I didn't get to show you my workout, but I did get to show you that max video, and that was 245, and then I went for 250. So, see you guys in a little bit.
Hold up. Hey, all my niggas who be 